Are you searching for love or lust? Are you considering using a dating app or already using one or many? Well, maybe you should reconsider. Why? Well, it's been a hectic month for these type of applications. They have been affected by hacks, exposed nudes and other breaches. Hello everyone, I'm Frederick and welcome back to another episode of Cinedis Cyber Security News. Within days of each other this week, the dating apps OkCupid, Coffee Meets Bagel and Jacked all disclosed an array of security incidents that served as a grave reminder of the high stakes on digital platforms that both store your personal information and introduce you to total strangers via a public profile. So what happened? The dating app Coffee Meets Bagel, based in San Francisco, had to send an email to about 6 million of its users to inform them that an unauthorized party gained access to their users' names and email addresses. The unauthorized access goes way back since before May 2018. The company announced it on Valentine's Day. <laughs> what a better day to announce a data breach. But hey, I guess on Valentine's Day, then one would be better off getting back to the old-fashioned rose and dinner rather than an online virtual experience. OkCupid has been faced with a surge in cases of users who have fallen victims to hackers who steal their accounts, changing the email address and password associated with the account. Once this transition has taken place, it is difficult for the legitimate account owner to regain control of their profile. Hackers then use those stolen identities for scams or harassment or both. Jat, another dating app, in this case for gay people, reported a major security flaw. X-rated pictures and videos privately shared between users on the popular dating app have been publicly available to view online for the past three months. Really? Three months? This is really quite bad. The app also exposed their locations and other information that could potentially expose a person's identity. This is particularly concerning for users who live in places where homosexuality is illegal. What's next? Hmm. Tinder? You did hear about Tinder before, right? We have to be careful with these applications that are designed to meet people who are complete strangers and encourage us to upload a ton of information so that others know us better. But at what price? Nowadays, technology is very advanced, not only to help us get a partner, but mm, even sex toys connected to the internet. Yes, you heard that right. You and your partner could have cyber sex, installing an application on your phone that allows you to control a vibrator that your partner discreetly wears in their underwear all day long. Thanks to the industry of teledildonic, as the internet-connected pleasure products are known, there are a lot of innovative options dildos connected to a webcam, and I'm going to refrain from saying the other things we discovered existed as we were researching information to write today's news. That would definitely not be ready for viewing by a general audience, and some of it sounds quite sex scary, so I'll pass. Anyway, like all devices in the Internet of Things, intelligent sex toys are also incredibly vulnerable. From exuberant manufacturers that gather intimate data from their users to security flaws that hackers can exploit. Do you really want to get your sexual habits and sexually related data be out there and gathered by who knows who? I would say, mm, no. So how do you get a cyber secure sex toy? Well, perhaps if the game uses encryption, automatic security updates, secure password requirements where applicable, an accessible and stringent privacy policy, and a way in which the company can manage security vulnerabilities in its products? I am saying this half seriously, as I'm not sure it is the priority of most manufacturers of such toys 
to put in place all these security and privacy measures, although it should be. And probably it's not either the consumer's most pressing criteria when about to make this maybe impulsive buying decision, but it should be. So, what are the risks anyway? Experts have been warning about teledildonic security risks for years. Bad teledildonic security, and by the way, today is the first day I pronounce this word, and I've been saying it a few times in a row today, so quite a challenge. Anyway, lack of teledildonic security could allow not only an invasion of your most intimate information, but also, hypothetically, a remote-controlled assault, in which an attacker takes over the remote application of a sex toy without the user's consent. Sounds crazy, but I can imagine the news things like Dildo attack on the Prime Minister's wife, or something like that. They say that in war and love, everything is worth it. But I think we should rethink this a bit when it comes to personal relationships and intimacy. Cyber sex and cyber warfare seem like an explosive cocktail, not to be mixed. So, Think about that before your next toy purchase and feel free to share your opinions in the comment sections below. Although, please, try to keep the section clean of dirty details, alright? <laughs> Meanwhile, remember, be safe on and offline and we'll see you soon!